Hi guys, welcome to Cannon Hall Farm. We're down in the park field today. I'm Farmer Daryl, and we're going to see an animal today, which unfortunately for us, is right down at the bottom of this field here. Right then guys, we're a little bit nearer now, so I'm pretty sure you can see what animal we've come to have a look at today. These, of course, are our llamas. Right then guys, so as you can see behind me are our llama family here at Cannon Hall Farm. Now the llama uh, is one of the oldest domesticated animals on the planet. That means it's been working with man a long time. Around three to four thousand years ago in South America, particularly in Peru, uh, these animals were domesticated. Now the llama is still used in that part of the world today and uh, they were very much the favourite animal of the Inca tribe. The Incas referred to them a silent brother and that's how closely their relationship was because the Incas used them as their beasts of burden and that means that they use them both for clothing and for food as well and a relationship that still goes through with man to this day in that part of the world now a female uh, llama is pregnant for quite a long time 11 to 12 months so it's a long gestation period and at the end of that they normally have one little one and they normally give birth to it stood up now a baby llama is known as a crea that's c-r-i-a and as i say a long gestation period so it's a long time to wait we've had several births here at the farm as you can see large ones small ones right behind me playing a bit in the background now llamas are quite long-lived animals as well a llama will easily live for over 20 years in captivity. And the llama belongs to the camelid group of animals. That's quite a large group of animals. Uh, and the name gives it away. That means our llamas are actually related to camels, of course, that you would find in most zoos. But they're also related to other cousins in the South American area, guanacos, uh, vicunas, and alpaca are all relatives of our uh, llama. They are, uh, if threatened, all, uh, they all like to spit and they can spit quite long range as well. So you've got to be careful uh, if you come into the farm near the llamas and the alpacas. Now, a llama, you may see a, a llama appear in fields with sheep, and that is because they're a good guardian to the little lambs. Uh, they don't like things like foxes that may be a potential threat to lambs. So a, a, a llama is, a, is almost like a guard dog, really, and does a really good job at uh, protecting not just their own kind, uh, but little ones of other animals, such as sheep or goats as well. Now, speaking of goats, uh, we have a famous goat, goes by the name of Philippa, and the reason she's famous, she thinks she's a llama. So if you look closely behind me, you may see a very small llama, which is in fact Philippa the goat, a firm favorite with you farm fans on a visit to Cannon Hall Farm. Right then guys, so thanks for joining us again at Cannon Hall Farm. Hope you've enjoyed watching footage of our llamas, but I'm not just gonna leave it there, of course. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. I expect you to be uh, on your toes and send us some answers in. The three questions are, uh, firstly, where do the llamas originate from? Secondly, what animal group do, the, do they belong to? And thirdly, if they're threatened, what might they do? So thanks for joining us. We love to see your pictures, by the way, here at Cannon Hall Farm. And a llama is a pretty tricky animal to draw. So I'm asking you kids to send in uh, some fantastic drawings of our lovely llamas. Hope to see you all again soon. Thanks for joining us.